Looking for an economical smart bulb for your smart home? Want to control your bulb using something other than the smartphone app? Stay tuned and I will show you just such a bulb. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about implementing a wise bulb in your smart home. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on that subscribe button now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now, here's what we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be going over the unboxing and setup of the wise bulb. Then we're going to integrate the wise bulb with the wise band. Now we need to serve one and we'd have three wise men. Sorry, cheap joke. And then we'll show about integrating the wise bulb with Alexa. Let's get started. Now we're ready to start with getting the wise bulb unpacked and set up. So let's switch over to trusty demo cam here and we'll start having fun. The box is fairly compact. They don't waste a lot of time and materials in setting it up. There is a, we'll go down here, you can just kind of barely see it. There's a little startup, quick startup guide. But let's face it, who of us really uses a startup guide? But anyway, it's good to have for documentation later on so that if you do have a problem, you've got something to fall back on. They do a nice little job of packaging it in a plastic sleeve. That QR code is handy if you would ever need to try to link it up from the Wise app or with needing more information. We will move over to the Wise app. We'll tap on that plus in the upper left-hand corner. We'll add a device. We'll tap on Wise Bulb. Turn the light on and off three times. I've got another way of handling that one. I'm going to screw it into the outlet and then just barely back it off to break the connection. One, two, three. There we go. Now I saw it go into different colors. It's pulsing. Tap on next. Shift down to my 2.4 gigahertz SSID. It already knows the password. It still wants us to connect into the app. So we should see. There we go. Over here. All right. Internet might be available. Fine. I understand that. There we go. Was flickering there for a bit. Okay. So it's now connected to Alexa. That's fine. So we'll call that table lamp for now. No, we're not going to share with a family member. As with anything, there's a firmware upgrade. So let's go ahead and get that firmware upgrade done while we're doing this before we get the bulb put in to, to service or production or in use, however you want to, uh, to phrase that. Shouldn't take too long here. Wise with the other devices that I've seen has been pretty good about taking that and it's actually you can see it said flash there for just a minute so it apparently had to do a little bit of cycling to uh, go to the next step of the firmware upgrade all right firmware is up to date that's happy there are all sorts i mean you can change it to the to kind of the coloring you want it to be but we'll just leave it at cool white for now all right that's fine just over here to the right a little bit so we're going to turn it off okay now, I'm going to leave the bulb plugged in, but I'm going to lay it down to the side so that none of us gets blinded in this next step. And this is where we're going to set up the wise band so that it could talk to the wise bulb. Just a couple of easy steps to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to integrate this with wise band, we've got to go through a few steps. We've got to go into the shortcuts menu under wise band. So we'll select wise band. And we'll select the little star, which is their shortcut for shortcuts. Then we will go down here to create a shortcut. And we'll say light on, because remember, you only have a small display space. So you don't want to have a long descriptive name because then that's going to really wrap things around. So we'll call it, we'll select table lamp, turn on, save. Now see that shows as an available shortcut. So we'll tap plus to get it up to where it's an active one. Then we'll create another one to turn off the light and we will add action. We will select table lamp and select turn off. And so you can do other things like setting the brightness when you go to turn this on. There's, you can say color temperature. So you've really got quite a few options for a bulb that in most cases is less than $10 on, on Amazon. So we'll tap save and we'll move that up here. So now we'll switch over to wise band we'll 
wake up the display shortcuts okay so light on it doesn't know about the other one just yet we will have to go through here and we should go okay that was just a matter it was a synchronization issue there was a button up here that's you almost can't see at the upper top or right hand corner just below where it says 64 percent and it says save i had to tap on that because it hadn't had enough time to automatically move over to the wise band so now as you can see we go under shortcuts and we've got light on and light off so we'll tap on light on and it vibrated twice and as you can see the bulb is on and then when we're through we can just say light off and no more light and then the added advantage is when you are in the wise app you will then have the ability to have the shortcuts work within the wise app as well so there's more than one way to to do this and it's going to be something that it gives you some flexibility now we're ready to get the Alexa integration set up and you would like to have thought that there's a way you can do this all in voice and for security reasons it appears that's not the case. So we're going to switch over to my trusty smartphone here and once I can get the right buttons pressed and we'll go into the Alexa app. You can do this from the Alexa website as well but since I've already got the phone in place I decided to go ahead and do that. So you'll tap on more skills and games we will type wise just tap wise there and then that's the correct skill to use and we will say enable well we won't say we'll do it and then we'll go through here and actually enter the account credentials and once it's got you authenticated then it will take you to the wise screen where you say you're allowing permission for an outside device to do it to access it and it says been linked okay that's fine now you'll want to discover devices and you have the option of having alexa do it from the app or you can actually just say alexa discover devices so either one is is going to work there's no right or wrong way it's just a matter of where you happen to be within the system and this is a good troubleshooting tip. If for some reason the device stops responding, then sometimes rediscovering it may kick the tires and clear the cobwebs to where that's going to work. So let's take a look here and we should be very close to getting this completed. And then I've got a uh, my trusty Alexa hockey puck it says found new devices. All right, now we're going to set the devices up first. Okay, we'll go to table lamp and we'll set up device. Care about a group at this point. If you're going to have it, you know, you got a very large smart home, then you might need to look at groups and then fan set up device. Again, I'm not going to worry about a group. That's if you really want to get sophisticated with it or you get several devices that you want to act in a certain way and then you can do all sorts of things there so we'll tap done so now let's switch over to our trusty hockey puck here the bulb just off screen here so i'm going to take this off mute alexa table lamp on okay as you can see there's the bulb but i just kept it right out of view alexa table lamp off okay and you see it's well you can't well there's i can't really get the bulb but oh, there we go there's the bulb and frame so you can see it's all turned off at this point. That gives you a good idea of what can be done. So we've shown about unboxing it. We've gone over integrating it with the Wise Band as well as setting it up with Alexa. So at this point, you see potential for what you can do. And if you see, and I've got another video out here on doing the Wise Plug or Outlet as I call it, because Plug to me at first something different. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.